College University is Coach CJ. I want to give a big shout out to the 4x1 for qualifying for the 2022 National Championships. I know you guys are going to get down there and rock the house. Remember, you made it to the show. Now you got to headline it. I was blessed to win a national championship in the same event back in 2010. You just got to stay focused. You got to stay hungry. And most important, you got to believe you're going to win it every time you step on the track. There can be no doubt. You have to know you came to put it down and you're going to take it home. Once again, I congratulate all y'all for making it. Now let's, now let's make some noise. Now let's get busy. It's time to go to work. What's up, Kaiser University? Reggie Hamilton here. I just want to say a big shout out to the 400 and the 4 by 400 meter crew and making it to the national championship. Now we are the national championship. You only have one goal, one objective, and it's to win. You run to win a championship. Before you get to the championship, you run time to get you there. No, you're at the championship, you run to win. And I'm also a 2018 champion in the 400 meter and 2019 runner up in the 400 meter indoor. And the school record holder for both 400 meter and the 4x4 four four, 100 meter. And also, I think a 20 time All American because I, I just do a lot of events. So, um, always in the final and you just just compete compete to your best and how can i forget about that four by 400 meter we went into the final with the slowest time and we came third and breaking the school record just by never giving up so you see, never giving up could bring you far away. Please watch that 4x4. Four four. How y'all doing, Kaiser family? My name is Dante Johnson. I am a five-time All-American, and I am a graduate from, I'm a 2020 graduate from Kaiser University. Um, first and foremost, I would like to say congratulations to everybody who made it to nationals. Um, it's a huge accomplishment, and now it's just time to walk away with some hardware. Uh, you feel me? So, <laughs> um, Coach Gordon has reached out to me just to basically talk to the 4x4 team. Um, I was blessed enough to be on a 2019 um, school record holder team. We placed third at nationals, and so now I'm just going to really hop into it. Um, first leg, you got to get out. You got to put your team in the best position to win. Um, second and third leg, your job is to maintain and extend your lead. Handoffs are important. You gotta lead out. You gotta lead out the incoming runner. Hand ready, baton ready, snatch and go. Last leg, it's all on you to bring it home. You gotta believe in yourself, believe in your coaches, believe in your training. Um, and I'm gonna just leave y'all with that. Best of luck to each and every one of you. All right, what's good? Kaiser fam, um, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible because my phone keeps ending the video as I'm going. All right, so my name is Anthony Applequist. I am the 2019 national champion for indoor male athlete of the year. Um, some words of advice going into championships is be confident. Be confident and be confident for your teammates. And uh, I, I don't know what I'm trying to say with that. What I'm really trying to say with that is you gotta have your teammates back and uh, they should know you got their back as well or your back. Dang, I'm a spaz. But uh, one thing I could tell you about winning a national title is I knew I was gonna win that before I even showed up that day. Uh, I believed in every inch of my body, every part that like I deserved that. And I went out there and I claimed what was mine. You know, you put in all this work in the off season, in season now, um, and it's time to collect your paycheck. So go show up, execute, and just believe in yourself. And at the end of the day, if you believe in yourself, man, you got it. You guys got this. So good luck and congratulations for all of you for making it because that's a big feat that I've... Uh, came up short before uh making it just to the national title like national championships so uh congratulations to all just uh believe in you i'm i'm gonna be congratulations on qualifying for high jump you worked really hard to get where you are now and try not to lose focus 
Try not to be so hard on yourself and you may or may not have obstacles in your way, but don't let that determine your strength. Cause you are strong and you can do it. And also have fun. Try not to be so hard on yourself. Try not to make yourself too nervous. You can do it. What's up, Seahawks of Kaiser University? I heard it's nationals coming up. Yeah. <laughs> but my name is Chanel Roberts, and I was a former thrower, um, coached by Coach Gordon and Coach Clay Brooks at Lindsey Wilson College. But Coach Gordon reached out to me and wanted me to talk to the throwers about nationals and all that other stuff. Wish y'all good luck. So. Congratulations for making it this far in the first place because, you know, only the, a few people out of the entire country are blessed to make it to this level of competition. And it's exciting. It's fun. And I just hope that y'all just make the most of it, you know. Um, trust the process. Trust yourself. Trust your coaches. And just a little advice or whatever, I was blessed to make it to nationals every year that I, I was throwing and stuff. But it's, it was a roller coaster, I'll be honest. But I can honestly say that eventually it will click. Like, you know, you train 24 seven for this moment in time and don't have any doubt. You just tell yourself like, if you obviously you have a goal, but you wanna be a national champion, just tell yourself, I'm gonna be a national champion. All right, and just make it happen. Um, um, and just leave it all out there. Leave it out in the ring, in the sector. If you throw a jab, leave it on the runway. I, I didn't do jab, so. <laughs> but also, I'm gonna tell y'all, it's not really a secret, but the throwers are the best on the team, period. So. I'm expecting y'all to go out there and do great things, represent for all the throwers, the old people like me, all right? So good luck once again, Coach Gordon, Coach Claire Books, the rest of the coaching staff, good luck and good job for having these athletes be amazing the, the entire season. And I expect a national championship out of people and the entire team. I'll be rooting for y'all. This is your boy Ernest, you know, uh, I've been following you guys' performances for a while, you know, I know, I know it wasn't easy, but you guys did it, man, you guys did it, you guys, you know, the week is finally here, you know, the day has come, you know, for you guys to go out there and show out what you have done, you know, what you worked hard for, you know, what you woke up with at 6 a.m. for, you know, this is the day, man, I'm, I'm excited for you guys. I'm excited. So myself, I'm a three-time national champion. I'm a three-time in a NIA MVP, uh, Commonwealth qualifier, Botswana record holder in triple jump indoors. Uh, you know, it took all those 6 a.m. workouts, man. You know, I'm, I'm so excited, man. I know you guys are gonna do great. I know you guys are gonna fight with everything you have inside you, man. It takes heart, man. It takes it takes a strong heart, a strong mind, you know. Cause you know most people go out there and they, they just panic man but don't be that person you know go out there believe in everything that you worked for you know trust the process that coach has been telling you this whole year you know trust the process trust the process but there's, there's the time you know for you guys to attack there's the time for you guys to show us that what you've been doing you know in secret without us seeing it on social media or whatever you know but you know we know you guys have been uh you guys have been you know uh, on top, you know, you guys have been working so hard for this day, man. You know, this is the day that you've been working for. This is the day that you woke up early morning for. And let's let's get out there and get those times, you know. Go out there and get those big jumps, you know. But the most thing that I can give you guys as a tip is do not allow another opponent, you know, to, to scare you, you know. They might go out there and pop something big, you know. They might go out there and run something fast, you know. But don't, don't, don't worry, you know, just... Just stay focused and you know you work so you know the same way the same way they work so hard is the same way you work so hard. So just you know focus, you know, don't, don't let anybody 
uh, uh, scare you, you know, be like someone go out there on a 10 3 uh, in the preliminaries, you know, and then, then, then you never know what can happen in the finals, man. You never know what can happen. Just go out there and do the best that you can, you know, wait, you know, listen to your coach's instructions. That's one thing that I did. I listened to my coach's instructions. He tell me move back and forth, I move back and forth. He tell me do this, I did that, you know, and I tried to do everything. I didn't try to overdo. What I wasn't told, you know, I didn't try to do something different from what I worked so hard for this, uh, all these weeks, you know, all this month, you know, to get to nationals, you know, I did everything, you know, I followed everything, but I want to wish you guys all the best, man, I cannot wait, and I'll be watching you guys' performances, so let's get it, Kaza! What's up, guys, this is Philip Stumner from Sweden, reporting directly from North Carolina, former athlete at Kaiser and competing at nationals, last year indoors and outdoors now it's your time you know what to do one event at a time step by step uh, as a guy told me last week full send all or nothing and yeah i want to wish you good luck and get after it ciao Kaiser University track and field team is your 2019 200 meter national champion, NAIA most valuable player, and NAIA male athlete of the year. And I'm not saying all that to drag on myself. I'm saying all that because one of you guys or girls in the room is the 2022 national champion, 2002 NAIA most valuable player, or 2022 male or female athlete of the year. And overall, what if y'all the 2022 NAIA National Team Champions? So guys, I just want to wish you guys good luck and give you a little bit of advice going into nationals. Step one, win your prelim seat. If you don't do anything else, win your prelim seat so you don't have to worry about anything else. Your spot will be secured. Step two, do not worry about anybody's seat time. Do not worry about a lane. Do not worry about who's beside you. When you get on that track for finals, it is only about you in the time. That is it. I don't care who's in lane five. I don't care if they run a 10-1 and you're running at 10-6. Seat time does not matter when it comes to nationals. It does not matter. And I'm a witness to that myself. I haven't gone to national since my freshman year, my sophomore year to my junior year and my senior year. I had the fastest seeding time in the 200 and remind you, I did not become a national champion until my senior year. I say all that to say that seed time does not matter. At nationals, it's all about who have the heart to do it. If you want to be a national champion, you have to wake up telling yourself, I'm going to be a national champion. When you're getting on the bus to go to the track, I'm going to be a national champion. When you're practicing your box starts, I'm going to be a national champion. When you're lacing up your spikes to go out there on the track, I'm going to be a national champion. When you're getting in your box, I'm going to be a national champion. I literally did that my senior year telling myself I'm going to be a national champion. From the time I got there to nationals to the time I actually became a national champion, I was telling myself that. To the 4 by one team, let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Trust your marks. Trust your coach and trust your teammates and you will be successful when it comes to the four by one. Get the baton around and that's all you gotta do. And last piece of advice, listen to your coach. If you have not never listened to your coach, now is the time to do it, I promise you. I'm just gonna give you a little backstory of what happened to me for not listening to my coach. One year, the whole year, I was not listening to my coach. He's like, Kevin, you're not running through the line, you're not doing this. I'm like, coach, I'm running through the line, blase, blase. Cool, he didn't say nothing else to me, came to nationals. Kevin, make sure you run through the line. Y'all, it came down to who ran through the line to get an All-American spot. And guess what? I did not get that spot because I did not run through the line. And I couldn't even be mad at nobody but myself because my coach been telling me that whole year, run through the line. Coach Gordon literally told me, Kev, run through the line. That's all you got to do is run through the line. You'll be All-American. And I did not run through the line. And the thing is, that's not even the only thing that happened to me for not listening to my coach. My sophomore year of college indoor, we are literally in the finals, y'all. Like, I know that I was being a national champion. We run through the line, everything's done, everybody decided, whatever the case may be, and I got DQ for a lane violation for stepping in my own teammate lane. That year, Coach Gordon literally has told me, Kevin, when you are running, you are running sloppy, you are running all over the place, you need to focus on staying in your lane. So my, I didn't care about that. I'm like, oh, I'm running fast. I'm running fast. I don't care about that. I don't care about no lane. Like, whatever. As long as I get to the finish line. 
and guys, I made it to the finish line and got DQ'd. So please listen to your coach. What your coach is putting down, he's telling you for a reason. Listen, it can be a difference between you being an All-American and a national champion just by listening to your coach. And I'm going to leave you with this again. A C time does not matter. Does not matter at all. A lane position does not matter at all. Your main goal and focus is to worry about nobody but yourself. You want to be you want to be the first person to cross that line in finals. That's all that matters. Say it with me. I am a national champion. Good luck, Kaiser University Track and Field. Let's go. Let's get it. Coach Gordon, thank you for giving me this opportunity to speak to your track team. I wish you guys nothing but luck. Thank you for being a great coach. Thank you for everything that you continue to do as a coach. And, you know, Coach of the Year, you already know you got that. It's in the bag. But good luck, guys. Your 2019 NAIA National Champion, Male Athlete of the Year, and Most Valuable Player is signing.